Uh, the nature of the bombing isn't yet clear. It does indeed appear to be a car bomb from the still images and video we've seen here. It does also appear to have been a pretty large uh, car bomb and there are clearly uh, several people injured at the scene. There are reports of at least one fatality. We don't know if this was a, a suicide bombing. Uh, the recent bombings in Damascus have tended to be either car bombings or, or bombs uh, placed in strategic locations, but not many suicide bombings. This happened in an area of the city called Al Maza, which is uh, regarded as a loyalist area under state control just to the west of Damascus itself. And it shows really the ability of the armed opposition groups to strike at the heart of, of the regime. Uh, there have been several bomb attacks uh, last July, last August, uh, last December. The Interior Ministry was also attacked, and the Interior Minister was injured in that particular attack. Now, the reports from Damascus say that the Prime Minister has not been injured, even though his convoy was apparently targeted, and he is said to have escaped uninjured. Uh, and you said, obviously, it tells us something about, about the ability of, of the rebel forces to strike in the heart of the city. Is it possible to assess the relative strengths of the different sides at the moment in the capital? Well, the centre of Damascus itself uh, and most of, of the western suburbs are, are controlled uh, by the government. Uh, there are roadblocks uh, all over the city and security is tight in the city centre. But uh, there are areas to the south of the city centre and also to the east which are controlled uh, by rebel fighters. And there, is, there are daily clashes in and around Damascus itself. There has been a push... Uh, by government forces in recent week. In some districts, there were uh, more than 100 casualties last week when government forces took over another area of the city. So the government says it's getting the upper hand, but as you say, there are clearly many areas of Damascus itself which are still under uh, control of the rebels, armed rebels, and they're able to strike also in some loyalist areas as well.